Good evening, everybody. Crypto Strang here. I'm just going to talk about a project which I've held for a few years now, but to be honest, I haven't really sort of been following it. I've just held my bag of holo hot for quite a while, kept on the exchange. I was thinking about actually getting rid of my holo hot, and I thought looking into it more before I did. And I was actually surprised to see it's still relatively doing well in the charts, ranked 105, market cap's 436 million. But what I also liked was the supply to the circulating supply to the total supply basically approaching 168 billion out there and the total supply alone is basically 177 billion so again the we speak about this many times the fact that the majority of the supplies out there is actually fantastic so i say it's been around a long time um it's all time high was actually a couple of weeks ago we reached 0.004 it's all time low is actually last march when we had many projects when we had that massive dump with all the thing was going the economy and the covid and everything just dropping where it's actually 0.002 so it's never been that volatile with price all the time it's been out there. It's really been very, very steady. And as I say, I've heard it for such a long time. I used to think it was a wonderful project, but I say I just kept my eyes on it and I haven't really been monitoring it. But I went into it a bit more over the last week or so, and it's still on many, many exchanges like Binance, Probit, Uniswap, Bitmart, so on many other ones as well. And at the moment, what I also liked about it, we used to be an ERC20 token. And I say it's been around a long time. The actual the founders was like Arthur Brock and some guy called Eric Harris, and they're both very experienced contract coders. And the f basically, the f both started actually started on the project in December 2016. But the ICO was actually launched in April 2018, and during the ICO they actually raised raised 30,000 ETH, which at the time was about 22 million dollars. So that's obviously a massive ICO, and it was doing really well. But I say it's been around a long time. Now, basically, it's come up to its three-year anniversary since the ICO, so it really needs a sort of, this year is sort of, to me personally, like a make or break for Holo. It can't have another year in development. But again, like I always say, I'll check the roadmap, and it's still progressing. If it sort of reached its roadmap, I'd be very sceptical of Holo. But if I look to their roadmap, look at the team, see what they're developing, it does look a genuine, solid project. So this video is not financial advice, up to you. But me personally, I'm going to hold my Holo. I'm not going to get rid of it. I'm going to keep it, monitor it this year. Um, with their developments, it could have a good year. Now, as I say, nothing certain. But I say it's an ERC20 token, but this year, hopefully, it's finally going to have their own holochain ecosystem where all your hot will be automatically transferred to holo. So they actually have their own ecosystem, getting away from the theorem ERC20 token. That's their plans. So it's quite a unique project, holo, and you go into it a lot. I've seen their videos on YouTube. Um, to sum it up, basically, it's a peer-to-peer -peer distributed platform for hosting decentralized applications built using Holochain, a framework for developing dApps that does not require the use of a blockchain technology. We'll show their website and how they do that. Um, I've always stated their goal of Holo is to serve as a bridge between the broader internet and out apps built using Holochain, offering an ecosystem, a marketplace in which dApps are easily accessible. That's what we want to make it easy. So... Um, this year, got a lot in development, as I say, expect to launch your own alpha and beta testing. I'll show you the roadmap in a minute. Um, but as I say, it's, it's doing okay, and it's got a decent market behind it. I say a lot, really like the fact the majority of suppliers out there. You go on their swipe, holochain.org. Think outside the blocks, what they call it, what comes after blockchain. Because obviously, you know, blockchains are constantly developing. We've got third generation cryptos, for instance, now. But blockchains are becoming slow. So holochain is unique, how they develop it. It's, again, talk about many projects, long-term development. Um, you go in there, different press articles been on Forbes, Coin Telegraph, World Economic Forum. That was that article was basically talking about Bitcoin and what was after Bitcoin, and Holochain was mentioned. Um, fairly old article, but they also keep developing. So, like this bit at the bottom, scalable distributed apps with data integrity, peer to peer, versatile solutions, agent centric. Um, you actually go on holo.host, which is Holochain developers. Um, you can see there, powered by Holochain. Holochain applications you tell are built on Holochain, obviously. Holochain enables a distributive web and user autonomy built directly in its architecture and protocols. They do meetups, and it just talks a broad direction of the actual team and how they're developing. You go on their site, and I say there's a lot on here, there's a lot of resources. You get all the different documentation, the white paper, the green paper. But also, like on Medium, the official site of Holochain, they do monthly updates. Again, it just shows that they're constantly developing and the team's out there very active. It's not a project. I can think of many projects where they had a lot of hype, big teams behind them. I'd check some old projects out from the previous bull run of 2017 and some of them are like not in the top 500 now, where before they were massive price and in the top 50. So I say it's held its place in the charts. It's been through the terrible bear market. 
the, the ball marking is still developing. That's what I like about Holo. But so uh, you go through it. This, I say this is actually February before they seem to issue basically sort of around this time every month. There should be a new monthly roundup soon issued on Medium. We'll see. I'll, I'll read that. See how it's developing again. How they're moving. Um, states here moving Holo few up on the roadmap. And it states here we're actually ahead of where we expect to be in some ways. Whilst it's taken a while to complete infrastructure testing because that is one of the most complex aspects of our work, which is true, our need to system, we have been able to move many other activities forward. Because of that, we decided to shift the whole of your application up in the roadmap. So I think I think this year's got a lot of potential. I say this year's a massive year for Holo Chain. They've, they've got this big roadmap, they've got all these plans, they've got to deliver this year. This is my personal opinion. Um, I've seen some crazy price predictions, to be honest. Um, There's quite a few basically said it was only going to go up for the next two years. I've found some, sorry, I found some which are absolutely in crazy price predictions. Now, if you think at the moment, at the moment there's 167 billion tokens out there and people have predictions of a dollar this year. That, you know, at the moment it would be based on as Ethereum, you know, and you think it's not going to do that. You know, the actual price, you know, next year they're saying $4, 2023 they're saying $10. I, I can't personally see that. I'd, I'd be amazed. I'd, I'd love to get to 10 cents, to be honest, first. Then you dream of like the 50 cents. But a dollar this year, me personally, I don't believe that will happen, purely because of the amount of supply they've got out there. I didn't see anywhere they're planning to burn or anything like that. So to me, this site, and there's a few other sites, well, very ambitious for their price predictions. So if I've got a dollar, be over the moon. But we'll see. It's going to monitor it, as I say. Um, so when you actually go on what is holo fuel, as I said, away from their hot token, you can see all the different parts of it. So what's the difference between holo chain and holo itself? Well, holo chain is like a data integrity engine in which the transactions are immutable and users control their own identity. Holo is like the marketplace and the distributed hosting platform that allows holo chain applications. So there's just sort of difference in what they do. And I say the holo network relies on a serious host that provides storage and processing power for DAX built using holo chain. Hosts either install software on the computer that runs in the background or automatically allocates extra processing power to holojain based dApps. Now, one thing I will show you about this, this looks is very, very interesting. It's based this can be released as the Holo port. They've got their plus, they've got their nano, and it says become a host to earn holo fuel. And it states there what they do, and you can obviously pre-order it. This is gonna be massive for the thing. Basically, holo port is basically is the easy to use dedicated holo hosting device. This Holoport summit was basically a bridge between the community running distributed Holochain apps and the owners of Holoports can charge fees for their hosting service. So if you're on a Holoport, you can charge the fees to host the app. That's the whole point of it. So it's basically a plug and play device. You see on the screen what it is. And it's built for hosting Holochain apps to serve mainstream web users. So if you actually got that, you could then charge fees. Um, me personally, I'm not going to get one to be honest. I think it's a long that's real something for longevity to get some, some sort of income. It's not for me personally. I'm purely, a, you know, I've got my hot tokens. Great when they all naturally go over to Holo. I'm sure the exchanges will support that. They'll automatically go hot to Holo. So um, what also likes with their team, you know, you can even apply to join a team if you want, but you go through it, the amount of people involved with it, and they're genuine people, as I always say, you know, it's very important. You can go there, you can scroll and find out everything about each person on it. It's a huge amount on the team. But the main thing I really like, Again, we'll talk about this many times, is the roadmap. Now, when you look at the roadmap, you know, you think of this year, what they've got planned with the alpha and beta, and all the phase one, the phase two, and the phase three. Now, the phase one is inception. You can see there. Obviously, the phase two is infrastructure, the dev ecosystem, you know, the Holochain Rust Apple, the Holoport shipped. So there we go, talk about Holoports. Okay. Pre-release alpha test and hopefully by host. Now, the, the phase three, you can scroll down here and you can see it. I'll put the link below, but you can see everything geared up. So I'm hoping this year the whole project comes together. So it's been a long time. They started developing December 2016, and I say April 2018, they're their ICO. So I say they come up to their third year anniversary soon of the actual ICO stage. So it's been a long while, but we've talked about many other projects before, and it took a long while to get going purely because they're a solid project. They wanted to develop something different, unique. So, so I just want to do a quick video really on Holo, Hot, the token, how it's going to change, what they're developing. Just look at the roadmap. It's certainly one to keep in your radar. And like I say, it's been around a long time. The price has never really been that volatile, even in sort of the bear market, really. It's been quite steady. So maybe this year, with this roadmap, we could have a, a gem on our hand. I say it's not financial advice. Do your own research. Just want to put it out there. I'll be certainly holding my hot tokens, certainly the rest of this year, and see how they go. So thanks, everybody, for listening, as usual.
I've put my Telegram link below now. Um, anyone wants to go with me on Telegram, the link's below. Also, you've got my social media links below as well, plus email me info at cryptostrain.com if you need any assistance or anything. It'd be great to hear from you. Please comment below on your big hopes for 2021, which tokens, which coins you're really pumped about. It'd be great to hear from you. Thanks very much. We'll chat again soon. Cheers, guys. Bye.